are you doing, sir? Listen, listen. I'm not fucking with you. How's it going, guys? Siphon here, and welcome back to more Leave. Y'all know I had to jump right back in this shit. Last time we played this shit, a motherfucker was waiting for us. He was standing out there. Y'all yeah, know I saw him. I saw him. I don't know if y'all saw him, but I saw him. Um, that motherfucker standing there all mysterious, like, I don't know what he was doing, what he wanted, but he wasn't here with me. I don't know what he did to me. He probably was in the fucking cell with me doing some shit that he shouldn't have been doing to my body. Now, anyway, we just gonna jump right back into this shit right away, and let's just keep going. Without further ado, all that good shit. All right. Watch out for that, because that shit hurts you, my boy. Don't step on that. Okay. Get this. What's that? It's a note. Grab it. Grab it. Can you grab it? Motherfucker. You can't. Okay, so intent she was on cutting off the child's limbs that she didn't notice her victim was long dead. She pierced what remained of her body with the blade that was crudely attached to her wrist, replacing that was once her soft and caring hand. The dirty sack on her head covered her face but could not mask her anger. What a sight she was to behold, standing among her young victims, her torn clothes drenched in blood, their soft skulls cracking open under the weight of her boots as she walked towards me, a sound well known to us both. A real monster, yet she's better off a monster than a coward like me. It's been 32 years since the fateful event, and I have left, haven't left her side ever since. Okay. I don't know what's going on, y'all, but we about to find out. Okay. What can you do here? I'm pretty sure I can get out by using my powers. Yeah. Thought so. <laughs> that motherfuckers didn't think about that when they threw me in here. Like, oh, this motherfucker got powers? No, he don't. Don't play with me. Well, I got powers, motherfuckers. What's that? Shit. I don't know why I'm at, y'all. I'm in a jail cell. So I think some shit's about to go down. Shit. Like, shit's about to get real. I feel like it is. What's that? Is that a belt? Was that bacon strips? That shit like bacon strips. My precious room is gone. It has been taken from me. I knew every single stone by name, and now all of my beloved friends are gone. This sounds like a crazy note. Today will once again be the first. Is this another test, I wonder? I suspect the guards know, but they will never speak. Their footsteps will tell their stories, but I need more practice. They haven't noticed yet, but I have. Something feels different in this cell. We have been transferred, no doubt, but there is something else, too. I mean, you say there's something else in here. It ain't the motherfucker that was been trying to kill me since day one, right? I hope not. I'm pretty sure I don't want to run into any motherfuckers out here. All the prison cells are fucking open. Except that. Okay, I'm just gonna explore a little bit. Y'all know how it is. Y'all gotta explore a little bit. See what's in the area. How did I miss this right here? Oh, this is a completely different area. All these cells are open. Shit. It's dark as shit in there. There ain't nothing in there anyway. Grab that. Okay. What's this in here? Oh my god, bitch. Two. All this can of spaghetti. Why are they giving me so much food, y'all? They're being really generous all of a sudden. I don't like it. I don't like it. Y'all know if y'all play games, when the game is being too nice to y'all, what does that mean? Usually that means there's some shit waiting for you, right? Around the bend. I mean, that is usually what it means, right? I mean, I'm not the only one that fucking thinks that. Shit, I just got out of a fucking situation. I owe, I need a peaceful time, okay? I deserve a peaceful time. Well, I guess we proceed. Fucking boxes. You're scaring the shit out of me. All right, we proceed. This game has too much puzzles in it, y'all. What did I open? It's too fucking quiet. And it's too fucking dark. Oh, look. Okay. I see him. Don't fuck me up, please. I'm just exploring. What's that? The smell of burning incense made my blood run cold. I could hear two or three men laughing and cursing. I worried less about the first two, but Jacob. I had seen him hunting prey, ripping off limbs with his bare hands as if he was drawing pleasure from it. Motherfucker's a masochist. 
I walked around the house following the sound from their footsteps, peeking over the edge of the kitchen window. I thought maybe I could trick them somehow, perhaps make some noise and lead them to the front door so she could jump through the window and escape. But I was too late. Shit, he got her and he stole her fucking goods. Okay. Wasn't there like a hole here? There was. Thought so. Break this down? No? Can you crouch? Maybe you could crouch and go through there. No? Yeah, you can't. No, you can't. Shit. Alright, that's cool. No? No? I could. Okay. So I could break shit like that, but like, they won't let me kill the motherfucker that's threatening me. Okay, that's lovely. All right, crouch. Okay, come on. Ooh, bitch. Are those poison shrooms? They for sure as hell is. How y'all doing? Y'all doing good? Okay, you keep doing good. There ain't nothing over there, I don't think. Oh, how y'all doing? I still will have those green ones in my yard too, y'all. I'd like to get out of the situation. Hello? No? Okay. Just checking. Okay. Let's just go that way first, then. I mean, it looks lovely in here. I mean, it don't look lovely, literally. But... It's like quiet and nice. She sat on her favorite chair as one of the men kept twisting her arm, almost as if it was she, if he was enjoying her screams, and it looked like he wanted more. Jacob pushed her head down firmly on the table and ordered the third man to pull out the last of the boxes of incense. I couldn't really tell if they used it for their ritual or just to mask their own stench. He grabbed her hair and pulled her head back up and said, almost whispering, "It's time." I could see that she tried hard to hold it in, but the awful smell was the final drop. Nausea took over her body and fluid sprung out of her mouth and nose. With each cough, she struggled for air. Then finally, he violently smashed her face into the table twice. No human being should have been capable of committing such an atro atrocious act, yet that was exactly what I had witnessed. An otherworldly scream escaped her crimson lips while he was holding the back of her neck like a captured animal. Okay. I'd like to get the fuck out of here. What the fuck? Grab the shit. Okay. I I kind of just want to get out of this fucking situation. Cause this motherfucker's keeping too much damn noise. Like, he just wants to kick everything over and cause noise. Damn, rodents, they keep coming back. However many traps I place. Sometimes, something draws them to this place. I wonder what it could be. Shit, it could be the fact that y'all got shit lying around that look like food. I mean, they got fucking shit like spaghetti and shit hanging around. So, yeah, of course the motherfucker's gonna be like, well, they're gonna be around trying to get their food. Okay, what's that? Oh, a Rolly's thing. I've never seen this. We have been cast into eternal darkness, for it is our own our fate to carry this burden. Shadows grow in our if in our finite minds, haunted by our guilt, and yet we chant with heavy breaths. The fabric of life being stretched out far away from this place. The weeping of its threads piercing my ears right before they break into a thousand stars. Is this a mockery of the gods? That's some deep shit. Okay. Can't read that one. That one's one too. Oh, you don't want to work? Okay. This motherfucker kicks shit like he's mad. I mean... We got this right here, but I don't see how that can... Oh, bitch. Oh, look at that! We had to pull a Far Cry Primal in this bitch, y'all! Look at that shit. Look at that shit. That's ridiculous. Either I just fucked myself over now because I can't go there, or... Um... I might have fucked myself over, y'all. I hear wind. Like... Like... There's like wind or an outdoor thumping or something. Or some shit. Ooh, bitch. Oh, it's one of those, uh... It's 
not working properly. Ain't gonna let me in. Good lord, what the fuck happened? What is that? That's like a fucking bag. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anywhere else for me to go unless they want me to go down there. He got me fucked up. I can't do water. I really can't. I can't do it. Water, this game's already terrifying enough as it is. It's... Shit. Take it easy. It's just a little water. Oh, it's not even deep water. That's lovely. fucking vibe I'm getting from this place. There's three canisters. Why three? Shit. Okay. So, we gotta bring all three lanterns in this room to activate all the shit. Or two lanterns. Sorry. It's too fucking dark in here. Alright. Let's go. Man, one thing I can't stand is a fucking dark as hell area. And you having to put two and two together to figure shit out in the fucking dark as hell area. Ain't no way in hell I would've figured that shit out because of how dark it is right here in this very spot. Alright, go on. Hmm, I guess you didn't need it for the top of that. Okay, go on. You only needed one. I was naive back then. Her husband Jacob was ferocious beyond compare, but foolish as I was, I kept pushing my luck. The man was of great influence on the village. Silent Whispers described him as a merciless man. We had no other choice but to have our great meetings in utmost secrecy. But it just wasn't enough. Our hearts kept longing for more, and so we became lovers. Is that the two motherfuckers that's sitting on there chilling? That they're talking about? I mean, I assumed... I see. Is that a fucking generator thing right there? Really? So I didn't have to go in that room and... You're so fucking stupid inside. Bring out power juice. Motherfucker. No, I think you might actually need those. Now that I think about it. You might actually need them to activate other shits. Ooh, look. Is that light? Hell yeah, that's light. Um, where the fuck am I now? Yeah, you break. I'm smarter now about those bear traps. I'm not hitting no shits no fucking more. Ooh, your ass. Ooh, motherfuckers. Because it was dark, I couldn't see. I still can't see shit. You mean there's no fucking light in here? Look at all these fucking bear traps. I'll activate all these shits before I step anywhere in here. Okay. No more, right? Okay, cool. Crouch. Come on, let's go. Ooh, child. Things are gonna get easy. He gave us ink and paper to record his work. How kind of him. I kept smiling every day to show my devotion. That's all that he desired from us, but no one understood. I knew all along in the end he, he, he only wanted us cured. Are you talking about Professor X by any chance? I know about him. He's a pretty cool dude. He, he looking out for me. So he's not a bad guy, right? He's a good guy. What if he... I'm telling you, that it just seems like that motherfucker is Professor X. Motherfucker landed on this shit, causing all that damn noise. Where the fuck am I now? I'm not, I better not be back at that damn place I was just at. Where all those fucking prison cells were. Shit! What's that? Read it. 
One day the boon came to me at last, a fresh bed with white clean sheets. I felt so light, almost as if I were flying. You were probably in heaven. At last, my transformation is complete. Yep, that sounds like you was in heaven. Nope, that's locked. Okay. Yeah, I think I've been through here. Nothing but shit. What's this? They have eyes. They pierce the flesh of mine from every corner of this room. Do they think I cannot see? They're wrong. Well, I don't know. I can't see what you're talking about. <laughs> and I prefer not to see what you're talking about. Ooh, bitch. I didn't turn that light out. I don't know who did that, but it gave me chills. What's over here? I have been in all these rooms. A door. A uh, laboratory. Can't go in there? Shit. Oh, look. A fucking hidden switch. Okay. Hello? My boy don't fuck me up. All the doors are fucking locked. What's the point of open? Is that the outdoors? Yo. Can you activate that from here? Yeah, you can. Activate that shit. I should have opened that over there. No? <laughs> Bitch. Where is he? Some tell me he's going to be right around here. That motherfucker. Why? Why did he have to be over here at this very fucking moment? Hey, motherfucker. Your brother coming over here or some shit. That's locked. I might be fucked if he comes over here, y'all. Who are you doing, sir? Listen, listen. I'm not fucking with you. How the fuck do they expect me to get past that part? I don't know how I'm gonna get past that part. The motherfucker was right there fucking behind me. I didn't, he was behind my shit, okay? But when I went ahead of the shit to try to open the other fucking door, it wouldn't work. So either way, I'm gonna be stuck. Now, let's if I go back there and see if there's something hidden that I didn't notice. Maybe there was a secret hidey hole or some shit that was there that I could use to escape that situation. Now, we don't know for sure, but we about to find out. But I know is the outside was right fucking there. And you know what? I'm not so anti-outside. I will go outside. To the best of my ability, go outside. That's just it. Who the fuck will put all these bear traps specifically to fuck me up? Don't understand why I can't just use my powers on a motherfucker and like push him back or something. I mean, Fustro die that motherfucker shit. I mean, I don't gotta be a fucking Nord or some shit from fucking Skyrim, but I know I can do something to him. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been more fucking scared than how I was when I played this shit. I, it is a very terrifying fucking game. When you hear that motherfucker and you got headphones on and that motherfucker's all like, Rrr! it's like, <laughs> I'm not fucking with him. I'm not fucking with him. Oh, he's not coming out yet. Ooh, bitch. He need to keep down all that damn noise. One of these doors have got to open. How you doing, bro? Listen, your brother's after me right now. Maybe supposed to go where he is. Maybe you do. Maybe you gotta go where that motherfucker came in from.
He might go back. I don't hear footsteps. Hey, bruh. I don't want to deal with you. I ain't talked to your baby mama, none of that shit. I, didn't, I don't fucking know her. He's laughing like that's some shit funny. That sounds like laughing, but I'm pretty sure it's moaning. This motherfucker just wants to have a good time. He wants some goods, that's all. He thinks I'm trying to take his goods. He probably got a baby girl down here. He might have tons of them lying in one of these damn cages. And he, well, prison cells. He don't want me to get involved. So like, so like, he acts crazy. And he's like, this motherfucker ain't gonna come down here and ruin my damn good time. Fuck that motherfucker. We gonna fuck his shit up. And he's gonna try to come after me. That's the problem. I'm sorry I'm talking too much, y'all. I'm just fucking nervous. I don't know where the fuck this motherfucker's at. I'm for sure if I go around that corner, he's gonna be right there. His fucking cousin Baraka is in the fucking closet there, in the other jail cell, and they're both locked. So there's only one way to go, and it's gotta be that way. Oh my god, bitch! Go, 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 go. Go, motherfucker, run faster than this. That's locked. How you doing, sir? Go! Oh, what the fuck are you doing? This motherfucker fell. Get the fuck up. Get out of this situation. Get out. Man, how they gonna taunt me with the exit like that? Fuck. All these damn skeletons. Shit, y'all. I ain't fucking with it. I'm not. I'm just not. I ain't got no more fucking help. Okay. The disfigured man carried me all the way down here and locked me up inside this filthy old cell. Was I supposed to wait for someone? I should have left the island when I had the chance. You should have, motherfucker. You really should have. Like I said, I would have stayed my ass on that beach. I would not have came out that fucking beach to go to the mines. Fuck that shit. Motherfucker's fucking pure ass crazy. All right, y'all. That was more Leave. A lot of shit. Oh, my God, bitch. My fucking heart is on edge. There's so much shit. There's so much things that's, gonna, that's happening in this game. It's unbelievable how much shit's going on. I can't wait to just keep playing it through just to finish it. I feel like I'm getting closer and closer. Each fucking gameplay. Anyway. Leave a like and favorite if you enjoyed. If you like me screaming like a little hoe, whatever. Share with your friends and share how much of a screaming little hoe I can be at these kind of games. If I was screaming, I was scared. I was fucking scared shitless. Anyway. I'll see all of you guys in the next gameplay.